Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about my trading journey, how I got into trading, all the bumps, the struggles that I faced along the way, and how I became consistently profitable at the end. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I hope you appreciate my story and make sure you stay all the way to the end. Basically, let's go back to about 2016 when I had been running my own online fitness coaching business, was trying to earn more money, and I was trying to scale that so that way I was not trading my time for money. So I was choosing between real estate investing and stock market investing. I had saved about fifty thousand dollars in about 2017. Was looking to buy a rental property. It was close to doing that, but then that fell apart. I was on YouTube learning about stocks. I was had some books about on stock on stocks. Also had some books on real estate. Ultimately, found a YouTube channel called Financial Education, which was Jeremy's YouTube channel. I saw his account that had like a few hundred thousand dollars, and he was having these swings of like ten thousand dollars a day. Thought that was awesome. So I was trying to research companies. I stumbled upon Tesla because I knew the company and I, I believed what they what they were pursuing and basically started building a position into Tesla stock in about 2019. Had built up about $100,000 into this while I was running my online fitness coaching business and was planning on holding this position for, for many, many years, just being an investor. Fast forward to uh, being down about 20% at one point because the stock had been going down. This is back in 2019, the stock was 10 times lower than it is now. And what happened was one day they beat earning expectations and it was up $15,000 in one day because the stock was up 15% in one day. And this completely changed my mind because here I was, I was working at a job at Orange Theory Fitness, teaching fitness classes, making about 2000 a month. I had been running my online fitness coaching business, making about six to $8,000 a month, total net net about $10,000 a month. And in one day I made $15,000 based on, on the stock moving that way. So that that completely changed everything for me. This was about tw late 2019, just before COVID. And uh, before COVID hit, um, that position swelled to from, from about 100,000 to about 300,000. So you could see at that point, my, my mind was blown and I had to, in my mind, I had to figure out a way to make this sustainable and keep repeating this. So that started my journey there. But uh, what happened after that was, you know, I, I, I still was focused on my business, but I was learning about trading at the end of 2019, all throughout COVID, big roller coaster, ended up basically wiping out all those gains, holding through it. Eventually, Tesla stock uh, did a 10X, a 15X, the 100,000 position went up to about 2 million. Uh, and then I began trading and trying to trade through that. Had some months where I was making about you know, 50,000, but then losing 100,000. And then um, I basically built up some really bad habits because I was swing trading, I was using a bunch of options, I was using a ton of leverage all throughout 2021 because the bull market was so strong. But then at the end of 2021, things changed. I had bad trading habits, I was swing trading with, with huge leverage, and I'd wake up to being down $100,000 in one day. And I was fine with that because these were all still technically gains because I had only put in about 200,000 of my own money, built it up to about two and a half million, and then bear market kind of wiped out the Tesla stock gains. I was trading with leverage and I was losing about $100,000 a day. And this was the worst times of my entire life. I had been so anxious every single morning, waking up in a panic because I would wake up down to 100,000 or I get down 50,000. But I didn't know any different because I had learned all of these different things that worked so well in a bull market where things just only went up. And I was doubling down on positions. I had just such large positions, had so much risk overnight and waking up to being down so much. So it was basically dwindling this down from the end of 2021 to pretty much the end of 2022. 12 months just completely lost all these gains down for about you know a couple million dollars uh, and had to stop, reset, and figure out new ways. And this is where I stumbled upon things like ICT in, in 2022. Uh, and my buddy Mac was teaching me about price action. And I was learning about all these things all throughout 2022 as I'm losing money. Near the end of 2022 is where I began trading small and just focusing on price action, took off all the indicators and just focused on you know one to two trades a day or swing trade. So I had two accounts, one swing trading account, one day trading account, wasn't using crazy leverage, wasn't using options anymore, gravitated towards futures and began only studying S&P 500 futures and NASDAQ futures. This was basically the middle to end of 2022. So from then, 
that's when I was just doing one, two trades a day, journaling everything, got Tradezilla. If, you know, if you're not familiar, if you're not on Tradezilla, highly recommend you use Tradezilla, best trading journal you'll ever use. And I just focused on that. So price action, one to two trades a day, I even followed up Raja Banks. That's where I got that rule and had all these notepads, all these sticky notes laid out and just made sure that I was done after one to two trades a day and had one swing trade account, one day trade account, only traded one or two instruments being NASDAQ or S&P 500. And I had my trading plan set. I had my set risk. I had my set minimum risk reward and I tracked every trade. That was all set up by the end of 2022. That's when everything turned around for me and I stayed disciplined. I had a trading strategy that I back tested using FX replay. Highly recommend using FX replay if you want to do some back testing. I spent so many hours back testing a bunch of strategies. So now that I have a proven strategy, I was able to stick to my discipline. I was able to stick to my risk reward. And now by the end of 2022, at that point, I had become consistently profitable on a small scale. But then by the beginning of 2023 is where things really started to pick up and I started to earn a lot more because I had built the discipline. I had trusted myself. I trust my system and I only traded a select few things. I now knew how to trade long or short and I knew how to stick to my rules. So, that's when everything clicked about 2023. And you know, that's technically about three years after I started getting into investing, but just about a little over two years that I had begun studying like day trading. And now uh, if I have losses, I'm okay with it. I'm not in a panic because I know I can make it back because I've proven to myself at this point that I can make it back. Previously, I, did have, I had been so lost because I was using all the indicators. I was just blind, I, you know, I thought I had a strategy, but it was a one-sided strategy. Like if you don't have, it, it's like having a, I had like one tool, right? It's like just having a hammer and you need a screwdriver to screw in a screw. Now, at least I've built up multiple tools that I can use in different phases of the market. When there's certain opportunities that present itself, I can use a different tool. And at this point, I'm just so thankful because now um, you know, I've dropped, I've, I've ended my fitness coaching business. I've gone full-time with trading and uh, started a real estate business. So full-time, I'm not trading my time for money anymore. And that's what it was for me. All I wanted was to quit trading my time for money. And I wanted to be able to earn money from anywhere. I don't know if you can relate to this. Like that, that's all that mattered to me. All that matters to me is being able to earn money from wherever and be able to scale that money earned with no ceiling. And trading is that perfect vehicle in my opinion. So that's where I'm at now. And, and now I'm just consistently working on getting better and better and better by back testing, sticking to my rules and journaling. And if you're not doing those things, I highly suggest you start now. Use the tools I mentioned earlier in the video, because you know, at the end of the day, the more hours you put into this, the more chart time you're going to put into it, the quicker you're going to become consistently profitable. And I believe you have to go through those trials and errors and, and, and issues by, you know, taking losses and you don't, you don't have to lose as much money as I did, but you know, if you really focus on setting a trading plan, following your rules, back testing, journaling, and creating strategies that are going to be more profitable than not, at the end, you know, give it one year, two years, three years, you will become profitable as long as you put in those hours. So that's my story and how I started, how I got into trading, how I became consistently profitable. It was a really bumpy ride. It was not pleasant whatsoever. It was some of the dark times of my entire life. And now I've come out on top and I'm, I'm very proud of, of where I'm at. And now it's just only up from here, higher lows. That's where we're going. We're going for higher lows, consistently growing, consistently improving, and just reaching new heights. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Look out for the next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. And I'll see you in the next video.